Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see placeholders and site code. Let's begin. So, what are placeholders and site code? Placeholders are site code controls that are used in layouts and sublayouts to define where the components can be placed dynamically. The key attribute identifies the placeholder, and here we have examples so how we can configure placeholders in web forms as well as in MVC. Now let's perform this practically to get more idea on this. I am in draw.io now. If you see, we have page and we have divided the page into three sections that is header, main and footer. So this header will be one placeholder. This main will be another placeholder and footer will be the third placeholder. And we have different components here, navbar, carousal, teaser and footer. So how we will place those? For example, we want this navbar to be placed in the header Carousal we want in the main placeholder and teaser also in main placeholder. And for footer we want to place that in footer placeholder. What placeholder generally do is they provide a way where we can place our components. So where exactly we want to place our components. So we just need to specify the name of placeholder while placing renderings on the page. Also in the placeholder settings we have option to restrict components. For example, if we want the header should only have navbar component that is a, or navbar rendering. Okay, so that also we can configure in this placeholder settings and we'll be able to place only navbar in this header placeholder. Okay, similarly, for the main, we don't want to place navbar or footer in main placeholder or this section, so we can configure the same. Placeholder settings will generally will be present in the layout of the page. Okay, so let me switch to Notepad++ and I will dem demonstrate how code looks for this. I am in Notepad++ now. If you see, this is standard HTML part. And here we have added these three placeholders. Header, main and footer. According to our use, we can specify for which rendering or which component should be placed at which placeholder. Let me go to the content editor and I will try out the demo part. I am in content editor. So let me go to first layout, renderings, custom. So these are four custom renderings that I have created, navbar, carousal, teaser and footer. What I will do is I will now go to placeholder settings. Inside placeholder settings, I will create one folder, custom. I will add placeholder for header. In. And footer. So these are the placeholder keys that would be present in your CSHTML file and we have here option for allowed renderings. Okay, for header what I will do is I will click on edit renderings. I will select navbar save for main I will select carousal and teaser save for footer i will select footer save so now when you go to experience editor and try to add the component so based on whatever this placeholder settings are configured those components only you can add to this particular placeholder for example for header you can only add navbar for main, you can add carousal and teaser. For footer, you can add footer. So to do that, what I will do is, we already have one content placeholder. So I will change the allowed control settings for this. For demo part, what I will do is, in custom, I will add carousal and teaser. Okay, 
Now I will open the home page. And now I will try to add one component. So if you see, I have put all those in custom folder. So there is a new tab with name as custom. And here you can see we have two options to add this uh, to renderings, corrosal or teaser. Okay, so based on your requirement or preference, you can add those. References, so these are the references that I have used. I will add those in description section. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching.